guys welcome to this new video today we are going to talk about persistent volume right what is a persistent volume um in simple language guide the persistent volume is just a volume that the administrator claimed from the storage class and that will be consumed by stateful application for example right so the persistent volume is just the volume that the administrator claimed from the storage class that will be actually consumed by stateful stateful application so let's dive a little bit into that uh, for example, so persistent volume is also called PV, right? Some people will say PV is a cumulative resource that represents a piece of storage in the storage in, in the cluster. It acts as claimable storage that can be dynamically provisioned or statistically defined by an administrator. So it is just as simple as when I mentioned earlier that a persistent volume is actually just a volume that uh, the administrator claim from the from the storage class. And that volume will be used actually for stateful stateful applications, right? What is stateful application? Stateful application are actual application that require storage. The actual application that store customer data, those are stateful application. And then if you, when you have such stateful application running in community cluster, it will require a persistent volume. For example, all databases like Postgres, Redis, anything, all those databases, you will always see them having a persistent volume and where that volume is coming from is coming from actually the storage class it's just a piece of the portion of the volume of the storage class that has been claimed and that will be used for stateful uh, for stateful application uh, for example now let's take a simple logic to understand persistent volume for example think of persistent volume as a locker in at the gym just think of persistent volume as a locker at the gym so just like locker provides storage for gym goers to store their belongings, persistent volume offers storage for application to store their data. So the same thing uh, apply here. And also second scenario, uh, lockers are available for use to anyone who need them and the user can claim locker by putting their belongings inside. Similarly, persistent volume are used for application and both can claim PV and, uh, and requesting storage through persistent volume, persistent volume claim. Another example is that locker come in different size of type, example, small, medium, large, extra large, or similar persistent volume can be configured with different capacity access mode or storage class to meet the need of different application, for example. So like I, I, I mentioned in simple language, a persistent volume is just a volume that is claimed from the, from the cluster. So what does it mean when I say, uh, uh, let's say, for example, you have this, Yes, this is this is actually a storage class. Out of this storage class, out of this storage class, you can claim about 30, 30 gigs that you are going to use for your state food application, and you are going to supply this in the port, right? This is the port. Let's say this is your Postgres port. You can claim this uh, persistent uh, persistent volume to 20 gigs of persistent volume here. So the persistent volume is just a volume that actually comes from the storage class that the administrator claim. And that volume will be actually be consumed by port on what type of port? Stateful port, like stateful set, right? Stateful set port, for example. Now let's go in our cluster and see, for example, um, if uh, if we have any persistent volume. I'm pretty sure that we do. Uh, if you say kubectl get k stand for kubectl, you can say persistent volume or PV is the same thing. If I say kubectl get persistent volume. You guys will see that I had a lot of persistent volume, persistent volume here. For example, some are from for for Redis, for example, and uh, some are for this now. And you can see, as you can see here, the persistent volume. So we have some persistent volume here. So let's pick this one for example. So let's type again. Cube here and get persistent volume. We're gonna have some of this persistent volume as you guys can see. Let's pick one and try to see that QCT here get persistent volume. This is gonna show us this. Then let's say hyphen OEMO. As you guys can see, that's our persistent uh volume. So here, and like I mentioned, that's a volume that actually uh, is requested from the storage class and this is actually a volume that stateful application are going to use if you have an application that is stateful you will actually attach this volume to the stateful set right the persistent volume to the stateful set actually um like here they are requesting specific uh capacity you see here capacity storage to two gigs here on the spec 
uh, that is what is being requested, right? So that's persistent volume. So the simple language, persistent volume is just a volume that is requested from the storage class. And that's stateful application I'm going to use. What I mentioned about stateful application, stateful application are actually application that uh, uh, save data, right? Um, if you have, as you go out there and pull maybe the configuration for like Postgres, all those databases, you are going to see that they actually use persistent volume uh, because the, the the customer data will be it will be stored inside. I hope you like the video. Please go ahead and subscribe and see you guys on the next video. Thank you.